welcome back friends this is part one of network analysis today we'll be learning about creating routes so we'll be beginning from the very beginning how to create routes using network dataset so let's start with ArcGIS Pro open it and click on new project map and um, let's call this project San Francisco routes we'll be saving it to folder uh, in network analysis so you might have already downloaded this uh, data set uh, let me quickly um, unzip the files so I have saved it somewhere here oh yeah there we go RGIS project network data set optimized routes so unzip the file extract the file you can use the default extractor or use other extractors then we have the pro optimized routes zip let's unzip that as well extract it but I want to extract it here so I'm going to extract here nice now I have a folder uh, which uh, contains the geodatabase as well so um, in network analysis now if you refresh this then you'll see the folder go to the folder and inside the folder let's click OK and I don't want to create a separate folder for this so that I can easily find my geodatabase as well uncheck this and then click OK this will quickly spin up a new project file and then uh, okay now to perform network uh, data analysis we usually go to analyst and anal analysis and uh, in there you can find network analysis if you have an older version of ArcGIS Pro then you can see this button bigger but here I have the recent ArcGIS Pro and it has this in smaller button if you click here then for the first time it might load first for some time so this might display your uh, organizational data source and uh, other uh, options as well but uh, if you don't have organizational data then uh, you don't have to worry because we have a local data already with our data set so we'll be using that so um, let's click the uh, data source button so that we can browse to our folder go to folders optimized roads or if it's located in somewhere else then go there in your optimized routes folder and then go to the san francisco trans database and go to transportation and here you can find the network data set click that and click OK instead of doing that you can also go to navigate from folder or favorites and um, you can also instead of doing that you can directly import this network data set as well by clicking add to current map since I've already added I won't be doing that now if you click here then you can see the geodatabase as uh, the network data set as the network data source now uh, in this demo we'll, it's just an introduction so we'll be creating a route let's click the route in network analysis this will create a route with all the options so here you can see the stops routes point barriers line barriers and polygon barriers that's what uh, a route contains right 
you can change your symbology as you will as you wish or you can let it be as it is uh, so this is the default routes right now uh, what we are going to do is import some points how do we do that make sure you have clicked route or any other layer inside the route and then go to route layer this is called a contextual um, tab because it appears based on the context now when you click route layer and then you can click the import stops option to import the stops where are our stops it's in our geodatabase so since it's not in the drop down menu we're going to browse the file inside the geodatabase we have delivery locations so that's the stops where we want uh, to stop our route here you'll notice a check uh, checkbox it's called append to existing locations what does this do if this is checked then it will keep adding new data sets new rows to the uh, attribute table but if you uncheck this then it will override all the data so you can keep this checked as it is and leave everything else click OK and here we have the stops let's zoom to layer okay there we go we have the stops uh, the delivery locations where we want to deliver where we have to deliver the files oh, sorry <laughs> the materials it's in San Francisco so how, how do we uh, navigate through this route well let's see let's actually insert this network data set oh. at current map yeah if you have inserted this data set then you can see all the roads all the routes that are already prepared and built now we'll create the routes for that uh, let's go to analysis sorry let's click route route layer and then now we want to create a route that can reach all these points how do we do that using the network data set here we if you go to the route layer then you can find all the options uh, first let's see mode you can configure these modes from properties as we'll see in the future videos and also here is a very important setting called sequence so if you actually um, go to the attribute table of stops then you can find the sequence here one two three four five so these are the predefined sequence let's first run with these default settings and see how it goes there we go let me zoom to layer so it's traveling from this sequence if you go to route layer and click show directions then you can see the directions when you hover over it then you can see the points how you should travel to cover all the points following this sequence right but suppose you want to find the best the shortest route then what would it be let's click the find best and then click run you see there's a difference now it calculates the shortest route and if you click show directions then you can see the direction as well if you click on one point then it pans to that uh, that point 
like you can see but if you double click then it zooms to that point as well so that's the direction let me zoom to layer that's how we can find uh, direction and we can evaluate turn by turn directions as well in this way we can navigate so this was the basics of uh, creating route using network uh, analysis in next video we'll dive deeper stay tuned